You know, I'm skirt town on Friday nights, the pubs beat for the crowd of drunken lads and lasses all screaming, shouting loud, making wise cracks, telling jokes, all shock worn even then, trying to catch a cig or two from off the older men. I stood in Olmskirk bus station on one late summer night, way back in 70-something it was, in June and still quite light, working through a bag of chips, not making any fuss, keeping out of harm's way, just waiting for me boss the way I roll. A girl passed through, a striking vision, taller than the rest, short skirted and suede booted, tight fitting grandad vest. Whistles sounded from the lads perched on the wooden seat and some began to follow as she walked along the street. Down towards the clock tower, pace quickening all the while, ignoring cat calls and gestures all unspeakably vile. I know why they're all chasing her, spoke one who stood alone. To no one in particular, he continued in that tone. Have you seen the thorax on her? <laughs> he then unleashed his theory and turned to me with bloodshot eyes, his breath would bind and beery. I made no right post, but ate me chips. He helped himself as well then, felt the need yet again the whole wide world to tell. Have you seen the thorax on her? His words hung in the air and echoed round the bus station as I was standing there. He spoke to all and no one beneath the evening sky. Many must have heard him, but none did make reply. No wonder they're all after her, he yelled with knowing gloat. Have you seen the thorax on her? He strained his drunken throat. He spoke no more. Silence resumed. The gloom fell on the station as if we were all stunned by his unique observation. In my adult brain, I tried to make some muddled kind of sense exactly what his point was. I really felt quite dense. I struggled to recall my hazy forgotten lessons in O-level biology and tried to visualize the concept of his chosen terminology. Did the thorax on an insect come just below the head or I thought with indecision was that the abdomen instead? The more I thought, the more confused I became, and even more so. His reference to her thorax meant which part of her torso. His strange expression that he yelled, it lingers with me still. I never heard it used that way again, and I suppose I never will. I suppose when all is said and done, this is what we find. It's very strange how such a thing becomes embedded in your mind. Those foggy, misty memories clog up your inner brain and then come back to haunt you so many times again. To use a word like thorax in such a strange location, one Friday night so long ago in Olmskirt Town's bus station. Thank you. <laughs>